open my blog I had written a blog post about which pins are safe and unsafe so if you google for safe and unsafe pins in ESP32 S3 uh, you will probably land on my page this page uh, where I list all the pins that are usable without any conditions uh, there are pins that are unusable no conditions you just can't use them at all and conditionally usable pins which means there are some conditions if that applies you can use them for example zero can be used as GPIO but the problem is uh, uh, zero two and five they are um, called strapping pins and they need to be uh, set to high or low uh, depending on how you want to boot your um, microcontroller so they need to be in certain state uh, when they're booting and rest like uh, 35 36 37 39 they probably would be used for uh, PS RAM or if you're using the flash memory in Okta mode they might be in use already so um, if you're not using flash maybe you can use them but if you're using flash flash is always used when you're booting or you're writing to the disk uh, writing to the flash uh, your your application and all that so it will not be used during the uh, runtime when you're not doing transaction with your flash so they could be used potentially uh, but yeah there are those conditions if you're using those pins for example for LEDs and then you're um, you're writing to flash or reading from flash then these LEDs will go crazy because then there will be just data flowing through those pins and uh, you know it will just maybe make some um, show there um, otherwise um, unusable pins are those you don't want to touch so you just leave them alone um, just ignore them forget about them and there are other pins which I pr so you know, ground 3v3 and enable are quite clear um, you can't use EN um, I should have just uh, put it on unusable pin because EN is a reset pin so if it's grounded your microcontroller is turned on it if it's uh, high then it's reset so your your microcontroller will just shut down that's that's how it works so uh, this should be actually unusable so but but it has its own name and it's clear that it's it's there for some purpose so that's kind of uh, clear and the rest of these here they are yeah um, I, I probably just never used them and I'm not sure um, how usable they are I will try them out as I discover information I will uh, update them on this page um, if you're using AI Thinker ESP32 board the pin layout looks like this I didn't have other development board or other custom board I could use for my module so I, I just use this cheap one uh, which was made for ESP32 but I use it for ESP32 S3 works just fine there are a few pins that are missing and um, and everything is really uh, scrambled so it's not in perfect order but the important pins like power pins enable transfer and receive for UART so UART communication is lined up very well and it it's the same for all room or rover modules so if you see here um, TX RX TX RX TX RX TX RX so they have the same kind of order there so it's quite convenient so you can use other modules on the same board and you'll have the same uh, order of these pins so um, back to our schematic so 